So first ad, first ad, you're running a video, you're giving away a free seller guide. Um, and and so, no, no. So just five leads came in real quick. Go into, um, yeah, there you go. Yeah, you're they're in going lifetime. at about $13 a lead. So 13 per lead. Um, and that's the thing, man. So first ad, higher cost per lead, going to a cold market. And that's mm -hmm. what it is. So, so what you're getting out of it on the back end is you're getting the viewers. So you're capturing that custom audience. Are you, have, did you create a custom audience of those, of those viewers? You did, right? I'm pretty sure we did. Um, I don't remember doing go so. Into, um, go into, cause again, that's, that's just where your money's at. Your money is in the retargeting. So that's why mm -hmm. we have to keep going ads. You have to keep, you have to stay consistent and, 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 and keep going. Um, because that's what's going to build the custom audiences. And that's what, what's going to allow you to retarget those custom audiences to get that cost per lead lower. Um, so click on the dots to the left. Let's go into audiences real quick. So this is the second second conversions lead. But it's, the, but it's the first ad, right? It's the first, other than the intro, it's the first. No, it's the same video. We just had yeah, to redo yeah. because this one wasn't converting well. Yeah, 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 yeah. So then... Let's go into audiences. I'm pretty sure you've created an audience. Which one, which one would it be? I'm guessing it'd be seller leads. I don't No, That would be people who land on your thank you page. Oh. That's, yeah, so that's why it's very, very important to really be descriptive with these names so you know exactly what audience that is. Super, super important. But but that's pretty descriptive. I mean, seller leads, that, those are people who – and you can just hover over it. It shows you what link um, is, 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 is driving the people. Or um, – well, actually, we'll go into the edit. Check the box and then just click on edit. Check the box. Go to edit. Here? Yeah. So right here, if you scroll down, it'll show you, dude, how come this ain't, how come there ain't a link right there? Oh, right here? Yeah. These are- oh, I, no I don't remember creating a custom audience. Yeah, bro. Oh, we would have done this for sure. That's, that's like, that's like what we cover on freaking call number three ever. That's like, that's like the third call ever that we would have ever done was custom audiences. Dude, go to your, um, okay, go to Karcher real quick. Go to Karcher, okay. grab the link um, for your Whoa. thank you page. So just click the dots. You don't have to open it. Just click the dots, get the yeah. link. Yeah, bro. Oh, shit. This right here is the most important, dude. This is the most important. No, grab everything except for the www. So no oh, okay. home. Yeah, no home to the right. No home. Dude, how could we have not freaking... You know what? I think we actually know. How can we have not done this? We would have for sure done this, dude. So, okay. So seller leads, check the box, edit, and just add in that link. So um, there's the link right there. And then update audience. No, scroll down, scroll down, look at everything first. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, okay. So there's your, there's your, there's your audience. Yeah. Should I re change the name? No, you can, I mean, it's up to you, whatever is going to, you know, allow you to know what, what audience that is, but seller leads is pretty, 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 you know, self-explanatory, but you can always yeah. change it. You could for sure change it. Um, I mean, these are people who downloaded the PDF, so you can always rename it, just update audience. You can always rename it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I don't know how the hell that could, that, that wasn't done already, but whatever hit done okay so now now we need to be creating an audience and how do we not have an audience of the viewers of the video bro like are you sure you're in the right account this is the right account okay yeah. so uncheck that box go into create audiences custom audience and then go let's go video let's let's create an audience and how do we not have, we should, at this point, we should have hit next. At this point, we should have two custom audiences of, of the of videos. You've already released two videos. So click the box at the top, go 25%. 
Okay, well, I do remember doing that 5%, this right here. Yeah, see, so where's it at? That's, that's what I'm... We, we would have done this for sure. I, I don't see a 5%, though. No, 25%. Hit the 25%. Oh, oh I heard 5%. Okay. Okay, so get out of there. Unch yeah, click out. So 25%. Okay, so hit choose videos. Choose video. Uh, And then, and then grab the intro, grab the intro. Let's do the intro first. Do the intro. What do you mean? Uh, this right here? No, the intro, bro. Introducing myself. Check that one. Oh, oh. To the left. Check the box. Hit confirm. Okay, so there's your, there's your, there's your 25%. Just go to name the audience. Intro video, 25%. Intro video, and then in parentheses, 25%. Okay, so create audience. Um, see, dude, and so now in the, now we got to do some freaking dude. We got to do some digging real quick because, yeah. Okay, so hit done, hit done. Now do it again. Create audience, and then and then create an audience of the video that's out right now. So twenty five percent. Um, first video or that's why it's yeah. good to have little names for your videos that way you can start labeling them over here perfect okay so create audience okay so hit done and so now Minimize that top, this top part, hit that, that arrow to the top, right? That drop down, get rid of this new USLV. No, the one below it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Hit that, hit that. Okay. So you got first video ebook, you got intro video, you got, um, seller leads, you got Facebook page visitors, um, and then scroll down and then you got, you got seller opt-in, opt-in page visitors only. Let's look at, let's look at that one real quick. Let's make sure that those links are, are, are correct. Um, this should be your landing page link. Dude, where, where's it at, bro? That's weird. It's like the links aren't in there. I mean, yeah, I do remember us doing something like this. I just don't remember it being a custom audience call. Like, I don't remember. It's been a long time. See, okay, so then get rid of that. No, this is this is web page visitors. So, so Oh, so it just needs to be the, yeah, the... Well, we're excluding, we're excluding, actually leave it copied, go back, go back, go back. We're excluding, so scroll down, scroll down. So put that in right there at the bottom one. So right here, we're, we're oh, okay. yeah, this is the exclude. So exclude anyone who lands on the thank you page. And always hit the blue too, that drop down, you got to hit that blue because I don't think it's saved. Did it save? Okay, perfect, it's saved. Okay, so your landing page goes right there. Dude, that's weird. I don't know where the hell those links went. I'm just I'm I'm just glad we're catching this now because this is what it's all about, dude, is building these audiences. So go ahead and hit update. Okay, so we should be good there. We should be good there. I'm glad we caught that now. Um now here's what we have to look at. Go into um go into what it says rules may be too strict. Is that a problem? No, no, that that's why you just want to you got to keep running ads because you got to keep building the audience. Yeah. Um you got to keep building that audience. So let that Facebook pixel keep grabbing that data, just keep running. Um so hit the hit the dots to the left. Let's go to the business settings real quick. Let's just double check the domain. So to the left, you'll see brand safety, click on that and then click on domain, domains. So brand safety down and then domains. Okay, so there's your domain. Okay, we're good there. So let's go into the, hit the dot at the top and let's go to the events manager. So this is this is one thing that we, we have to do for sure. And um, I don't remember if we did it. So let's look at this real quick. Okay, so right here, 
you're going to scroll down, go ahead and scroll down. And right here where it says new, click that. Agri uh, yeah, agri uh, oh, I'm pretty sure we did this. Did we? Yeah, I think we did, but I mean. Okay, okay. So go ahead and let's go into it, get started. Okay, configure web events. Oh, I thought we did this. Okay, so hit that verified, the first one. Click on that. This one? No, the top one, verified. Okay, so edit events. Yeah, we did We did this one. We did this one. So hit edit. Okay, so we're good here. We're good here. We're good here. Okay, okay so, awesome. so, okay, so let's go back to the ads manager. Let's look at these numbers real quick again. So the cost per lead is, is obviously, you know, higher than, than what you want. But at the same time, man, it's like, shit, that's why, that's why you have to look at this long term. And yeah. you have to look at this where it takes one damn deal, like one damn mm -hmm. deal. So in your business, bro, your cost per lead may be a little higher. Now, 13, that's, that's, that's it, it. I mean, it's all relative. I mean, it's high compared to what? I mean, at the same time, like in the beginning, yeah, if we don't have a huge budget, that can seem like crazy. But again, because of your business, you close one damn deal, bro, you're making several thousand. So you have to look at it that way. If I was selling a t-shirt for 20 bucks and I was getting a, a sell for, for $13, then, then, and my profit margin is only six bucks, five bucks, six bucks. It's like seven bucks. It's like, shit, dude, I'm going to freaking go broke. But if I'm yeah. selling something and I'm making several thousand, I'll pay 13 per lead all damn day. So you just have to let it ride out. You have to let it ride out. Um, now the the budget or the time the time on this is is what what what's the 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 schedule what did we schedule it for? Uh, I thought we did a week. Okay, so what day is this? What what day are we on? Um, this is like four four or five. Okay, well then shit, let it let it let it ride out, let it ride out, and and these these five right here, and that's why, dude, the back end is so important, bro. Those mm. emails, those emails, make sure that those emails. I'm always yeah, I've got six set up right now. I should be putting another one and another video out. Yeah, uh, bro, put, put six more. And then they don't all have to be video. They don't all, all the emails, they don't have to be video. But I mean, it just makes you stand out even more. But but just the fact that you're just sending out an email, like if I were you, yeah. I would just put six more emails to that campaign over the weekend. Okay, like, keep oh, just go ahead and all six of them just knock them out. Just knock them out, bro. But yeah. but I'm saying like if you don't have time to do a video, then then that's fine. You know, maybe 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 the ninth email is just text. Hey, John, just wanted to follow up, man. I'm hope you hope you're getting you know value out of my previous videos and, and my last few emails. I'll be available if you need to talk. Blah blah blah. You know, here's always a link to my calendar. I'd love to talk to you if you have a minute. You know, mm -hmm. like simple shit like that. Like you're talking to your buddy. You know, it's it the psychology in it is the fact that an email is going out to someone and they're seeing your name again. So, so there's, there's major massive more psychology when the, when, when, it, when, when it's the fact that they're seeing a video of you again, I mean, that's even more magical, but even if it was just a basic message, even if it was a basic text email, there's still power in that. So that's why you don't want that to stop at six. You know, you want to add to that every freaking weekend, make it a goal every weekend when you're off of school, every freaking weekend, you're going to add six more emails to the damn campaign. Okay. Yeah. Make that shit go on forever, bro. Right. Like, like with, yeah. with, with, with evergreen type of hello content, you know, value, you know, based content. And, and even, even with videos, dude, even with videos, you should have way, way, you should have way enough time, no matter how busy a person is, bro, take out your cell phone. I don't give a shit. If you're walking to class, pull out your cell phone and do a simple video. Mm -hmm. like like integrated no, yeah, I, yeah I definitely will have time to do it yeah you know what I mean like like we yeah. there, there's so much we have the opportunity we have with our cell phone alone it's ridiculous yeah so it's so seriously. don't think you have to be in a you know in front of a green screen or at home and the lighting has to be perfect and and the mic has to be on perfect no dude pull out your damn phone and just go on a rant for two minutes make that your freaking 13th video mm -hmm. you know what I mean like 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 you want to keep it real like day in the life pull out your cell phone day in the life you know, like, like that, those are powerful, man. So you should be able to add to that sequence every damn day, or, or at least, I mean, not every day, like, but, but at least maybe once a week allocate 
two hours a week to add into that sequence. Yeah, no, yeah, I definitely can do that. Or delegate, I should say, delegator. You know, put aside freaking a couple hours a week to, to do that. I didn't realize it said five right here. Um, is it okay if I like see what? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, well, you're in the campaign, so it's not going to show you any, much right here. But but um, um, this is just showing you the campaign. And then what you want to do is also go into the ad set. Actually, you're in the ad set. You're in the ad set. Yeah, perfect. So right yeah. here. So, so. Well, this so, is giving me more leads. Yeah, see, so here's the deal, dude. Shut off that Auburn one. Yeah. Shut off the Auburn one. Shut off the Auburn one. Yeah, let's shut off that one. Now, we're, yeah. we're past four days, right? We're past four days? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay, we're past four days. Okay, cool. So let, let that one ride. Let the Columbus ride. So if you can get 866, if you can get $8 leads, $9 leads, and, 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 and you're closing deals, bro. Like, come on, like, that's ridiculous. You know, that's ridiculous. Yeah. But again, looking at it in the very beginning, it could, it could look scary. Cause we're like, shit, man, like that's a lot of money right in the beginning. But mm -hmm. as you let the thing ride out and you close one freaking deal, you're profit, you're profitable for sure. You know what I mean? So, so that's why it's either this or what else, bro? Door knocking flyers, direct mail. No. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? I I see so many people talk about driving for dollars and driving like, for dollars. It's like shit, bro. Like, like cold calling, like yeah. really like, like I'd rather freaking, I'd rather put a video out, leverage the video mm -hmm. 24 seven. That video is going out while you're at school. People are downloading your freaking seller guide, getting your email, scheduling a call with you. Yeah. Like, this powerful. definitely seems like the most, yeah. Likeable you know I mean? marketing solution to getting out that you're buying yeah. and selling yeah. and all that kind of stuff, just for anything, any form of advertising, any, right. Any, on any. a budget, especially. Yeah. Because even in your business, bro, like even I'm, I'm sure you, you've, you've, you've researched and looked into, into different lead brokers. Cause you could buy leads for, for any business. Like, I mean, shit. Yeah. No. Right? Yeah. So it's like, dude, what's the cost per lead if I went through a lead broker to buy leads? Oh yeah. No, it's expensive. They're talking Hell about yeah. like a thousand dollars or something just Hell for yeah, bro. Lead. Hell yeah. Yeah. And so it's insane. That's why in this case, not only are you capturing a lead, but you're building your brand. You're literally getting yeah. thousands of people, bro, to see your freaking face. Like that's crazy. Yeah. Watch how many impressions are, are the video. Let, let's move that cursor over. Let's look at the, we got impressions. We got, um, keep going to the right. Do we got, um, do we got views in there? Yeah. Three second video plays, th uh, video percentage watched video average play time. So those are, those are good numbers to look at as well. Um, mm -hmm. I know it should be higher, right? Like you'd want it to be the whole entire thing. Yeah. But at the same time, it just, it's, it, it just hasn't ran long enough. It, it's not, it, we, it, we, bro, we're like, we're tippy toeing right now. Like mm -hmm. we're literally tippy toeing right now. We're so early in this campaign. It's not even funny. So wait, if out of eight people, they're saying eight people have clicked on the link. That link means clicks. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I mean, three out of eight, like, bro, come on, right? Yeah, that's actually not that bad. I mean, not if you get all. more people to to click on the link, that's awesome. But yes, bro. So so as those numbers, as as these ads keep going, and that's why you you want to you want to you want to definitely prepare for your next one. You know, prepare for your next video, mm -hmm. and then and then as we get that 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 custom audience from the intro, as we retarget everyone who's watching this one. You roll out the third ad. Now you're retargeting those both two previous video ads. That's when you start to get the cost per lead lower and your brand even builds even more. Um, so because, it, because we're just, we're just rolling out new video ads, new video ads, you know? Mm -hmm. So, so let this one, let this one ride out. And I would, I would for sure work on that email sequence, continue to add. You don't want that thing to end. You don't want it to end. Um, yeah. Because I'm telling you, man, once that pipeline is full, that's where appointments are going to be coming from. They'll be coming from the thank you page, but also, but, but most importantly from, from the email sequence. Mm -hmm. For you sure. Know? So, so, so it's a, it's a living, breathing organism over there. That sequence don't, don't let it die by only, you know, freaking putting six emails there. You know what I mean? But this, uh, if this ad is going to end in like the next, what, maybe three, three, maybe four days. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. which day specifically that we were on. Well, if you um, go into click edit right here, it'll tell you what it'll tell you in the, in the ad set. So click edit. 
So right here, it'll say the end date. So the 16th. Okay, so I still got four more days. Yeah, oh yeah, bro. See, you're way, way early in this campaign. Way, way early. Yeah. But but again, that's where everybody freaks out. Everybody freaks out in the first freaking seven days. They're like, holy shit, David, I'm not doing anything. I'm not getting anything. It's like, dude, it's been freaking five days. Yeah. You know, you got you to gotta look at, you got to be prepared and, and look at the long term of 50 days. What's going to happen in 50 days? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So now, now I'm not saying you got to wait that long to close a deal. I'm just saying long-term vision, man. Long-term vision, looking at it as a full-blown monthly type of campaign. And, and I'm just telling you, there's nothing else. There's nothing else better in my opinion, professional opinion. You know what I mean? Yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, I'm in school right now. I've got like years to figure this out. Right. So. Yes, bro. But, but at the same time, you're in, you're in school right now and, and people are, are, are seeing your face and downloading your shit while you're at school right now. Mm -hmm. No, that's yeah, powerful. I definitely, I would want to be doing stuff like this once I'm out of college for sure. You know, that's, um, that's, that's powerful. Cool like, but just, just the leverage of, 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 of marketing on this type mm -hmm. of a platform, like social media, it could be this, it could be Mark, it could be running an ad on Instagram. It could be running an ad on YouTube, on TikTok. It's the same thing. It's leveraging, yeah. leveraging video marketing is what you're doing right now. You're leveraging video marketing. You have an amazing approach. You have a great ebook that people are able to download. You're giving value. Just keep mm -hmm. going. You just got to keep going with it. You know, that, that's, that's, that's what I see with you. You have a great you know, proposition, like you're giving away something of value. You know what I mean? So yeah. you just want to no, keep yeah, going. Yeah, I definitely want to keep going with this for sure. So, so work on here's, here's, here's some homework, man. Just work on that next video, work on the next video. Um, keep it simple. Just like you did this one, call to action at the end. Um, and then, and then add some more emails and then let's mm -hmm. talk after that. Let's talk, let's talk, let's talk the day before this one's going to end. And then we'll strategize if we should okay. roll out that next one, the very next day or, 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 or not. Okay. So this coming Monday then. Yeah. Yeah. So let's chat Monday. Okay. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much. Cool. All right, brother. Have fun, man. Have a great weekend.